okay guys welcome to my youtube channel um today i'll be showing you how you can get the wiring diagram of uh, a rotok actuator you can also get the dcs diagram let's say you want to hook up the actuator to the control room um, via dcs you can also get the dcs diagram to know which ports um, you will need to make your connections to. Okay, um, without wasting much of your time, um, how you can get the wiring diagram of a rotor actuator is simply by going to the body of the rotor actuator and you need to look for the nameplate on the body of the rotor actuator. For example, um, you can see on this picture on my screen, you can see the rotor actuator nameplate i'll just zoom into it a little bit so you can have a feel of how it looks like now on this nameplate you can see the serial number of the rotor actuator you can also see the wiring diagram number now this number is what we'll be making use of in this um video tutorial now you can see the numbers are one zero zero b zero 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 hyphen six now you might need to write down this number somewhere while i take you on a journey of showing you how this number will be beneficial to you let's say you're stuck up in the field and you need to look at the wiring diagram of the rotor actuator you want to install or you want to terminate now after writing down this number you need to visit the rotor website now um, we we'll just go to rotoc.com on uh, your browser rotoc.com to bring you to this place now you need to create an account with rotoc to be able to assess and use the full um functionality of uh, rotoc now i will click on this place click on this image you see in here and you could try to create an account i already have an account with them so while we're creating a new one just to show you how it works now register you click on register for an account as you can see here so you fill all these data um use my name for example let me just use john and use the last name as um, Steven, um, position, all these ones are not um, compulsory and company. You can use um, ROTLTD, for example, if it's just a name, country, Nigeria, email, uh, use. Um, fill your email in email address saying you need to confirm the email so you confirm it by putting the same thing create the password um, suggest create the password um, let's just use Dishon Two zero two three. Well, that is the password you use to log into your Rotok dashboard. So you like software sizing, and you click this and you register. Okay, password must be at eight characters long. Okay, so let's go to vision two zero two three at um arrow so i go again vision two zero two three at arrow i think this will fly okay i'm safe so so please confirm your registration so i need to go into my inbox and confirm the email via this link sent so i confirm 
now it's asking me to log back in so this is it i am right in so as you can see i am right inside right, the rotok dashboard so one thing about the rotok dashboard or website is it gives you a feel of everything consigning uh, is actuator products now you come to the search box here and you type wiring diagram and you press ok search now this will pop up rotok wiring diagram selector click on this what type of actuator do you want to see the wiring diagram is it the iq3 is it the iqt3 is it the iq3 is it the iq2 iq pro iqt2 or the iqt pro is it the ck standard the ck atronic controls whatever type of actuator the same process will work on all so the actuator i showed you initially that has that has this um nameplate is an iq series actuator so I'll come to IQ3 and I click on this. Now, remember the wiring diagram number I should, talked about, which is um, this, which is this, sorry. 100, I've, I will pick up this number and fill it right in the website. So, um, I start by one. And the next one is what? Zero. I come back to this place and I say zero. I go back again. Um, zero. Sorry, I, I did not write it on a piece of paper. So, and I guess the fastest way to do is to write it on a piece of paper. But we'll still continue. You write zero again. You see? And the next one is um, B. You select B. The next one is um, zero, zero, zero. That is four zeros. So we'll go zero, zero, zero. And the next one is what? Zero. And you submit. The next stage. You scroll down and you have your wiring diagram number waiting for you to download. You click on it and you download it and you open it. So this is the wiring diagram of this actuator and this is the wiring diagram of it. So as you can see on the wiring diagram, it's a three-phase actuator, three lives and one neutral, sorry, one earth, because it's a moto. Moto usually don't have neutral, so this actuator is a three-phase actuator with um, one, two, three, life terminal, and an earth. Now, this is the diagram uh, you can use to terminate this actuator. If you come down a little bit by scrolling down, you can say... Um, if you want to connect your relays on 42 and 43, um, if you want to do your DCS, open command is on 35. Your close command is on 33. Your ESD, talking about emergency shutdown, is on 25. So um, you can go through the diagram, wiring diagram. You can understand it very well. You can make changes you want to make. You can use it to terminate your um, actuator you can use it to connect to this here so that is how you can get your wiring diagram by using the wiring number uh wi wiring diagram number on the nameplate of your rotor actuator and i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you find my videos informative thank you